All right, we're going to do a quick walk around here, showing a few features of the uh, Perlite SS1000. Remove the window mat. Just want to show a few features here and controls. We've got an adjustable grip over there for the passenger. We've got the uh, shifter here, one forward and then five back right there for all the gears. Down here, we've got forward and reverse. Press the button, push it forward. It's in forward gear right now. Push it back, pull it back. It's in reverse to go with all five gears. We've got a removable steering wheel, just like that. Heat ignition. We've got a horn over there. We've got a different driving mode there for uh, um, different, the 2008 has different driving modes that can restrict power from 1000 down to 750 down to 600. Kind of a nice, uh, keeps you from overdriving certain tracks. Um, we've got our uh, start button there. We've got our gear indicator. Now we're neutral. Got a kill switch here if needed, but usually that's always left up. Fan. The uh, fans will kick on with a thermostat, but if you want to manually just leave them on, then you can override that and run it right there. For street use down the road, uh, there's uh, left and right turning signals in the front and rear. And indicators and we'll go back here a minute show in the back there brake lights stuff too turn that off five-point racing harnesses cam lock Window nuts, rear view mirror. Uh, let's go to the back. Got a custom air cleaner here. This cover comes off, and below that, there'll be a pre filter and a uh, air filter, um, which can be replaced and checked. Um, radiator fuel cell, fuel pump. There is a uh, Breather ball in here, which uh, for tip over. We've run it without, and we've had some gas splash out once in a while. So we just recently added this here, which if a little bit of gas goes past the uh, tip over breather ball, it'll just direct it over here instead of down the back of the buggy. Go below, we've got our RPM overflow and breather right there. Sometimes when the um, gearbox gets hot or if you overfill it, it will push some fluid up there and it'll make its way back in. Uh, fuel pump straight up in the uh, bottom of the fuel cell right there. 930 CVs, axles. All right. Uh, what we designed with this engine cradle is to wear um, we can loosen up four bolts, they're there, down there, and where we go, right down there. Uh, those lock the RPM gearbox in place, but for adjusting taint, chain tension, we loosen those up, and we come back here to these turnbuckles, right here, right here. With that loose, you can adjust these two turnbuckles here, and that will pivot the uh, whole RPM gearbox forward and back to adjust for chain tension. Um, always recommend running good chain lube and stuff on the chains. And uh, yeah, when you're done, of course you, you tighten up your turnbuckles and then you tighten up the four locking cross bolts also. Like I said, brake lights, running lights are all in the rear spoiler here. Uh, Fox nitrogen charged air shocks 2.0. You can uh, change 
your settings and how she runs, how she handles uh, with nitrogen pressure. Here's where we've got our filler for the RPM gearbox and also a sight indicator um, for filling it up. There is a drain plug that we cannot see, but it is, it is in the bottom of the RPM gearbox for draining it out so you can leave it right inside the engine cradle to uh, drain and change oil. We've got an, an extra fan wired in down here, also a blower fan. For extreme warm or hot temperatures, it's nice because it, it blows the air up and dissipates a lot of the header heats and everything away from the motor. It's not really always needed, but if you're running hot temps, then flip on the uh, fan override and that will kick in with it also. Dual three core radiators are in here. And uh, cool overflow right there. And let's go around the front. We've got nine and a half inch brake rotors on here for extra braking. We did that when we started running road courses with it. To access the uh, master cylinders for the brakes and the clutch, this panel here is removable with, with the six screws. Then you'll be able to get down into there to some of the wiring and, and uh, check your brake fluid levels if needed. If you need to go further, uh, then we just drill out the rivets. It takes like two minutes to drill out the rivets, take off the panel, and then re-rivet it. We've got additional tabs in here, whether for uh, street legal or for racing, if you want to put a screen. Uh, we've got those in there to build up a windshield, though. Keep the debris off from the driver and the uh, co-pilot. When you get ready to uh, wire in your, your lights, we've got a switch already in here for it. So you might want to pop that panel off to get to some, some of that for the wiring. And bead lock, wheels, all trail tires. I think that's just about it. We've got a removable uh, Nerf bar for racing. Um, rack and pinion steering right there. And I think that's probably, oh, one more thing. The, uh, if needed down the road, the uh, computer and wiring and battery are all uh, behind the seat right here and stuff. So to access that, this cover is removable and there's four bolts and you can take that seat right out of there and get at it. Or sometimes you can just tip it forward and have enough room to do what you need to do. So I guess that's it for uh, our walk around of the uh, Perlite SS1000 heading to its new home.